Okay, hello and welcome. Next I like to show you that how this car's outer drive belt works and how this tensioner also works. There is now situation that in that engine there is all parts in right position and everything is fine and tensioning is also fine and and this this part in here is this drive drive belt drive belt and what purpose is to move and give a power in this alternator what is in here and also in this power steering pump what moves our fields and in here we have water pump and that part is tensioner what makes this belt to become fast like in that way that it is fast and, and then there is often often in that area also this air condition pump place in here it's place in here okay and, and how then this system works it works so that first we need to start this car engine and here is by the way this car engine's crankshaft there is oil oil sump in here and in, in that area there is this, this cylinder head and in this areas in here pistons are moving in that way and normally in that area there is exhaust manifold and exhaust pipe and in that area is intake manifold and fuel injection system this was like this information. Okay, and then first step. When we start this engine, this engine start to run. And normally this this engine runs in clockwise and this means that in that direction. Not in this way. Normally they runs in that way. Always in the same way. And then when it moves that big wheel in here, there is this belt what is very strength and durable and there is also those small holes in here inside and it takes good contact in that metallic feel and then when we look in that area we can see that there are those holes in this metallic crankshaft pulley wheel okay and then when this engine start runs I, I demonstrate that I have here my friends and then 19 mm socket and this bolt is the best way to run this engine because this is extremely tight and fastened bolt and I insert that my tool in here and then I start to rotate and then happens so that that when this this belt moves then all of this parts moves in the same way and and it, it's good to rotate this this uh, crankshaft wheel in only one position because if we rotate that in different uh, rot this different way in wrong rotation then there can happen something okay but but then when this feel moves that part this is not necessary because this is only it it support and keep this belt fast and tight and actually it is of course important because it it purpose is to fasten and tighten this belt okay and then that part in here this is important because this 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 wheel creates in that power steering pump this power and it means that when this rotates then this system generates this this uh, oil force to our steering fields and the, then our fields moves better and then when this belt moves again there is this our alternator and that part what generates electricity to our car and this electricity is must on ok 
Okay, and then, then when we looked at my 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 this uh, drive belt work, when I rotate this my crankshaft using my wrench, this is this rotation direction look in that way. It is like clockwise, and here is water pump, and this is really the important. Part. and if dry belt fi files or cut then our water pump it don't work and it is really emergency situation because car engine overheats and it becomes really hot and engine becomes broken and remember that if you notice that uh, this uh, alternator warning like this on then also water pump can be off and that's this crankshaft moves all parts and then we can look this dry belt inner area because it must be look so nice nice what we saw because this dry belt must moves all of these parts this and this is power steering uh, feel that left part in here what I am touching and this this pump uh, gives power to our steer steer we steering wheels and then then there is this alternator what I am now touching and this this alternator must be fasten this belt and soon I show that that how this tensioner works because it is also very in important thing thing in here okay and, and there is water pump in here and now we are in this tensioner feel what is this central black feel and water pump moves in same direction and actually it moves same with this belt interesting okay and there must be good contact with this belt and like this water pump area okay and then we can look this belt inside area and there is this tensioner this is the correcting what compressed this belt in well and there is then this hydraulic uh, piston what i am touching and this makes this force that this central bolt what I am touching when this force goes down then this field goes up and it fasten this belt and there is compression oil and air inside this piston what I am touching this is this tensioner this spring and now when this this piston goes down then this field pops up like up and there is two poles in this tensioner what we have to have to move and then this tensioner moves look in this what I am soon touching and this is nice system this this Toyota's tensioner system very very robust and great idea and then then we look that is this belt's outer area also okay and then when we rotate that belt we can see that this inside areas must be it must be looked that no any fractures in there no any parts missing look this is like check to dry belt inner area 
And if there is any parts missing, then we have to replace this belt. And this belt is also good to replace within every 50,000 kilometers or 30,000 miles, because this is a critical component. I recommend. And and then I recommend to use this Toyota's originals belt because they are the best. Please visit in Toyota dealership center. Okay, here is the system. Looks good. And then there is trick that if we try to rotate that in that way, and if we could to easily rotate in that in half way, like in that way, or actually it is we need to use force, then it is this belt is in right fasten. This tightness is okay. If if we use force and then we then we can rotate that belt. And there is then this locking bolt, what we, we need to open if we like to change this belt. And then look also my another videos where I showed that how to open the tensioner and how to replace this belt. I have a couple of another belts also. And, 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 and in that area in here, there is air condition system. This air, air, air coolers location, it is same idea in that area, just down in water pump. 